My name's Tom, I uh, work for Aspect Maintenance, I'm a painter and decorator and I'm just going to run through how you would paint furniture um, using this uh, sort of chest as an example. Obviously this one's already been painted before, um, it's a little bit battered and scratched um, so if you wanted to get it up to looking sort of brand new, um, the process you would go through is, is first of all obviously just to sand it back. Um, and key it up. So you would sand off the, the paintwork first, take off any rough parts, rough edges um, that are already in the paintwork. Once you've done that, you would use uh, an acrylic primer. This is just a Dulux quick dry acrylic primer. You put that onto any bare wood in particular, um, just to make sure that it's covered because it's quite porous. Um, and tends to suck the paint in, so you, you put a primer on that first. Once you've done that, you can fill and make good any damaged woodwork. So if you wanted it to look nice and flat and even, any big divots or marks, just put a, a two-part chemical wood filler in, which you mix up in, uh, you, you mix the wood hardener with the, with the wood filler inside, and it sets hard within about a couple of minutes. Once that's hard, you can rub it back smooth. Um, and once you've done that, it's just a case of putting on a, a good quality undercoat. This is an oil-based paint, so you would need to clean your brushes in, in white spirit afterwards. Undercoat the box and uh, give it 24 hours to dry because it's oil-based paint. Once it's dry, it's ready for your finished coat, um, whether it's eggshell, or gloss or satin wood. Again, oil-based paint is always best. It's going to be most durable, especially for furniture if it's getting knocked around. Um, that's the type of thing you want to finish it off in, and that's how you would uh, you would paint furniture.